What's up guys? We got another review here coming. So basically as you see on camera we got the Rustler 10 scale 4x4 vehicle. And this video is going to be on replacing the center drive shaft. And the story on this here is basically I got this used on eBay, of course. And eventually once I was driving around it drove just fine, but basically I noticed one time as I opened the when I took the body off, which I'm gonna attempt to show that the center drive shaft, which is this for anyone who does not know, maybe I'll try and zoom in here. So anyway, center drive shaft is just slightly warped. And it is the actual original Traxxas brand. I can see the writing Traxxas in the lo logo. And it just kind of vibrates just a little at all. And I'm guessing, you know, it could affect the performance just barely. I mean, it's not making the car like impossible to drive or anything, but since I noticed it, I figured why not. So this part I got also on eBay. The center drive shaft, aluminum. And I could put a link and put that in the description of where to get one if you'd like to get one for yours. So it does come with, which we got this almost a week ago by now. Yeah, let me zoom out real quick here. So here it is. It is metal. Definitely is good quality. I see zero imperfections. Everything looks lined up and balanced. So you get the center drive set up. Trying to rip this bag is pretty thick plastic. And also you get the ends to the drive shaft. So you could basically let me take this out. So it looks like I'm seeing of course they don't come out when you want to. So, in the kit, or in the package, looks to be one, two, three, four, five, six rubber washer or donuts. And then, trying to get this here visible, and then you get four grub screws, which are going to be installed right there so it looks like you get two extras in case you lose them in case you want to repeat the th issue I had in the very beginning of my channel where you know you don't use Loctites and no wonder things pop out and then you lose them so for $19 even I think that's a decent buy for an upgrade and that's what we're doing here today so let's go ahead Got all my little parts. I don't really even remember buying this. <laughs> but I got this in the mail today, or yesterday actually. So it's a Traxxas 8 and 4 millimeter wrench. And here's the ones that come with them. I never either noticed and realized that the ones you do get are also <laughs> Traxxas brand engraved but anyways that was kind of cool because I gave one away to the neighbor kid I believe so whatever let's see here right off the bat you're gonna need some Allen wrenches because I know this is gonna be easy to get at pretty uh, accessible one way or another. Let's see if I could rotate it. It's 
So there is a grub screw right here that I gotta take out, which I guess for now I'm gonna do that first. No real order that I know of because I've never taken this one off. I don't think I've done any replacing for any of these drive shafts yet till now. Oh yeah, and the whole point was I totally forgot, so let me turn this on. The whole thing is I was gonna show hopefully on camera if it's visible that there's just some amount of vibration because it's not quite <laughs> I don't know Let's see if I can show it so we're looking right in there this area I can see it on camera you can see right in here you can tell it's like moving just enough to be <laughs> visible or noticeable Not really that bad, but I mean, it is a used vehicle, and if nothing else, why not? So what I end up doing is repairing, upgrading, and fixing, so I figured this would be a good time to finally get this on camera. So, back to what we were trying to do here. Get the grub screw out. Should be pretty quick, I hope. I get the right one. May have to edit this video because I don't seem to have the right sized Allen. And I'm sick of stripping these. So FYI, I always try to, there it is. And of course I lost it. <laughs> what I was getting is make sure to always try and use the right ones. If there's any play, try another. If it's too small or too big, then that must be it. And make sure that you're not putting it at an angle. You know, because as soon as those get stripped, it's almost impossible to get them out without wasting up to an hour on one when I first lost one. So, just a second, I gotta move everything out of the way here. Anyways, and so far since I've bought this used and have driven it around, it's been pretty, go pretty good. I mean, if, as you look, I mean, barely even gooped up. If there's any dirt on it, it's from my last time of use because I already rinsed this off. Let's see, it seems. to be not quite the right size because it already seems like it's stripping. <laughs> this one's clearly too small. That one's way too big. This should be it. So unless there's already Loctite, then no wonder this is... Well, whatever, so... <laughs> flip this around anyways. This is also a weird part. If somebody would like to comment and let me know, but down in here, if I could even get it on camera, if there's even enough light, but point it out with this. So down there, I just tossed in a tiny little screw that I had that matched the threads close enough keep this in tight and I'm wondering is there a whole adapter piece here because when I've looked online it looks like the antenna would mount on the ESC cover so either somebody put in their own thing or I don't know what but that's one question for this one because when I flip it over I don't like like bending this up but yeah there's that so I just wanted to flip it over make sure I know how many screws I'm going to have to take out. Which for sure that, just like the slash, I got two up front. And it looks to be exactly four again, just like the slash. So there's two up, up front here. Of course the camera's never in a good angle. 
So one, two, and I got back up again. Then there's one on each side. Three, and then the fourth one over there. And every time I move it around, now I'm getting all this. If you could see right in here, all these wood shavings are coming loose. So if you see me off camera for a second. I'm just trying to get them out while I'm doing this. Anyway, let's get somewhere here. <laughs> Go ahead and take the four screws out. So you can get at the drive shaft anytime soon. And maybe I'll edit the video if I need to because I don't want to strip the Allen screws again. As soon as that happens, it just makes everything that much more difficult. I would just like to see, if nothing else, I know it doesn't quite affect performance, it just makes it stronger. It's not like a tire upgrade where you get better traction or whatever you choose the tire you're going to use for street off-road. In this case I just want to... <laughs> Fixed the one and only issue I ever seen on it, which was the center drive shaft being slightly warped somehow. Which I'm not quite sure how that would happen. If nothing else, all I could think of is whoever owned this either took it off enough jumps, did a big enough impact landing, or pinched in one of these four tires or something and stress that center drive shaft somehow because otherwise I don't see <laughs> I would expect something would break in here or something I mean not the metal parts of course when I explain I'm not looking but not this here but you know maybe something in here might snap weird that it just would be bent I guess so I'm still working on the screws here already taking longer than I expected because there's always something when you do a live recording unless you sit there and take the time and edit the video it makes it look like there's been no problems <laughs> simple and for the most part this is I mean just about brainless work here <laughs> until and unless you lose screws or lose your tool or drop a tool or strip a nut <laughs> That's where things get done. And I still really wish I'd get the... Like, I want to get the actual Traxxas toolkit and have something to hold on to, not these tiny little Allen wrenches that just are awkward and hard on the hands at some point. The other thing to do, when you know you're going to have to take this stuff out, I think it's almost better to, the number one thing to do is take the servo screws off of the arm. Because then you're not flailing or, you know. If you just take that servo screw out of the servo arm, connecting the car together, <laughs> that way you're not bending that up or straining the servo because you're pulling around on it. But in this case, I kind of skipped that step. Now we do have to flip it over. Somewhere, looks like right in here, if anyone could see, which I guess probably not. But there is one servo screw that I was talking about. I don't know if you'll be able to see. But anyways, it's just right in here. You'll see if you own one. If you're doing the same and following along, you'll... It's pretty obvious. You just get that out before you start pulling this apart. That way you're not going to worry about making any further problems. Which could easily happen when you're trying to get into it. You don't think... 
because you're trying to go too fast. There's no reason to rush anything. If you need to rush anything, you probably shouldn't do it. <laughs> so anyways, this comes right out just like the slash. And I'm happy I didn't get this out because I don't... Well, let's just put it up there and see what it looks like. Actually, that obviously will need to come out. <laughs> but anyways, see here it is. And the one little grub screw. Just get that out of there. As soon as you get that out, you could start assembling the rest on your new one. Make sure you're going the right way. If they're not already have lock tied in from a previous owner, if you buy a used one. And if you don't know, then you're going to easily strip it. You don't want to strip anything because that just, just wrecks the day. So you'd think this come out. Unless there really is one more. I see a hole here, but there's nothing in it. So maybe a grub screw already came out. I don't know if the brand new Rustler, and this isn't the Valinian version either, but I don't know if the new ones come with two grub screws in it to begin with. If a grub screw already fell off, if the guy never put in the other one, but in my guess, if it came brand new, they, they put them in themselves. So here we are. Now, I think I see what these are. They're not quite washers. I think they're more spacers for this, so it's not just constantly moving back and forth. It's sort of like a, I don't know, buffer. You know, because if you put three or more in there, you could only imagine. It's, see, there's one in. If you put more, you know, you could kind of get it out here. So it's not just constantly, you know. So that's what those are for. I'm going to at least start with two for now, just to see if I even need two. Now I got two in there. Just goes right on. Take a grub screw. And we're already almost pretty much halfway down here. And if I'm lucky, my next new concern is unfortunately I can't use the original. It's too thin. It would just fall right through. So that ain't going to work. You got to use the ones they came. But my question is becoming here. So there it is, because there's already a hole in this to accept the original. Here's the original, it would go all the way through and be, you know, even on each end. Now I'm using this aftermarket. I just want to get it on before I even do any, before I put Loctite or anything, just to kind of see how everything fits. So that's on pretty well. It's been around. They gave you four. I thought they would have been extra, but in this case, it looks like you're going to need to use all four. So two on each end. Here's the second one. And I'm, I mean, I, I guess under your own discretion, you probably don't have to, but I don't know why you wouldn't. If you have two, you might as well do it. If you put them on right, they shouldn't fall out. If you really are that worried about it, then you put Loctite on it. You don't have to worry. Well, it looks pretty good. Fits well. Pretty sweet. So, the last step. Alright guys, so we're back. This thing is awesome. 
that's old school and it seems to have every size I need when I'm doing this so hopefully I can get one that'll fit better so we don't need to worry about stripping anything it's so much easier to hold on to compared to something like that <laughs> that's too small it's like child hands so let's get this out of here it looks like they honestly did put I'm just trying to get this so everyone can see here I think they had to put Loctite on that because that is, as I've said, metal to metal. Yep. There's the Loctite. The blue stuff. And, of course, I did it to myself again where I did not even bring the Loctite, but I just want to show what I'm putting on. I mean, I just want to see that everything fits. And I can go back off camera and do the Loctite. So, if nothing else, go ahead and take it. Just start the grub screws. This one looks like it only needs one, so I guess in the end you do get one extra one. So, let's go ahead. I think my next question is... I think you're going to want to go ahead and put the front end on without, you know, entirely assembling. So that way you can line this up just to see. So you don't take the time, put all this on there and find out, oh no, yeah, this is um, not fitting out. And just go ahead. So there it is. And man, there's too much room. I think if nothing else, your best bet would be to since you only get four of these little donut spacers, I would use as many as you need, which I think it's probably going to turn out to be all of them, just about. <laughs> so I'm going back to the front end, and I'm going to put another one more in. I might as well put all four in there, but I don't want the, you know, I don't want the one end too close to the edge of this, because then if it does jump and jiggle around, it could pop it out of there and strip things. <laughs> So, zoom out so everyone can see. Take this back out. Don't lose parts. So I did. If anyone cares or not, but even that Allen wrench cut into the skin because of them stupid things. If your hands are sweaty, just sat there and cut myself for nothing. That's why I want the tool set. Not easy to use those tiny little things. And they're annoying. At least it's something that I always do better. So, just setting the front end on again. I'm going to at least put two on the back since there's already one. Might as well throw in the second one. And I use that little island to kind of push this thing in there. Go ahead and put this back on. Look at that. That's awesome. So, let's go ahead and tighten it. And like I said, I will do it off camera, put the Loctite on. I just want to at least see how it looks. I'm just snugging it up at all, I'm not trying to overdo anything here. 
Now, my next thing I just noticed is I only took out four screws. Three of the four are all the same length, except for one. And I don't really understand why one would be any different. Actually, you're going to need to pay attention because one is this one here, smaller diameter. But anyways, I'm going to start with the front. And I'm guessing this is clearly going to be on one of the other side. I still don't know why one is any different. Unless I really did not pay attention and put a screw somewhere it didn't belong. Oh, dirt, dirt, dirt. This smaller diameter is for the servo arm. So, don't mix them up. I don't want to strip something out. Put that one aside. Just go ahead and put the front two screws back in. Or if you got one of these, I'd switch into these. It's nothing worse than struggling with those stupid tiny little Allens. Things are annoying. Instantly got that in with no problem. And like I said, for demonstration purposes, I'm not trying to get everything all super tight because I already know I'm going to go back off camera and put the Loctite on there. I just want to, even right now, I should be able to test it. Let's go ahead and put the battery back in. One of my favorite things of the Rustler is the fact that this swivels and lifts out. That's awesome. Which means, and I just actually thought about it, maybe not. I was hoping maybe you could, like why is it rotating that much? I was thinking you could put it upside down and get the bigger batteries in there. I don't know if that's true. If that is true, let me know in the comments. So this is my first time having a rustler, but what I'm getting at is I do like how simple that is. No more uh, body pin style. Just another piece to get lost. So here's the remote. Turn the remote on. Turn the car on. Oh. I didn't put that in, so the steering won't work. Let's see what it looks like. 